What's up fellow FSJ fans? I want to show you guys something really cool today. I'm over here in western North Carolina looking at some cool old Jeep stuff. I ran across this bad boy right here. This is a 1964 Jeep Wagoneer and the cool thing about a Jeep Wagoneer in 60, the first years of this, uh, of this vehicle uh, they're pretty much the same from from the first year to 1991. Uh, very similar. The body lines are all the same. Chrome and all that stuff's all the same. But uh, one thing that was different was the fact that these things had a little bit different interior. You see, not the traditional. I mean, it looks mostly the same, but it's uh, they changed it later on. Uh, heater controls and things are mostly the same. Uh, this one does have a pretty cool, see this right here, an overdrive. That's pretty awesome. It's got the nice wheelies plate there on the door. Transfer case shifter. It has an automatic, and if you see, over there it has reverse isn't next to park like it traditionally is it's had an old cast iron transmission same thing that would have been in a lot of your old hudson's and things like that but the cool part about this is not all this is all regular stuff here the cool thing is that the first generation four-wheel drive fsj your wagon ears had independent front suspension. Um, Jeep pretty much pioneered and, and started um, independent front suspension with their first generation wagon ears, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. I don't know if any of you guys have seen any of these before, but if you notice, it's got these nice little boots. It's got that strange upper control arm, center hung steering. There's the pivot. There's a little Dana 30 or 27, one or the other center section. There's the other boot. You got the wheel off here on one side. And there you go. That little bitty coil spring upper control arm and it's got a radius arm that runs back and there you go first generation full-size Jeep Wagoneer was actually independent front suspension <laughs> 